everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm out at my husband's shop today because he's not home and uh, I'm waiting for some projects to dry out in the yard. So I'm going to be working on some other projects while I wait. I make best use of your time. When I've got time, i got to get some stuff done. I have some spindles, some wood spindles. So what I had done is these were um, railing balusters. So, you know, like porch railings. And I cut some of the pieces off to make feet for another project that I was working on, some seating uh, things and a coffee table. Well, it left these little bits left over. And I don't like to waste anything. So I had to come up with something to do with, with these. With these wonderful pieces of wood. So you can see like this one's flat here and it's just sort of a, a square piece on the bottom. It's not too terribly interesting. I guess I could use these for legs or, or something like that. And then I decided, you know what? I am gonna make candle holders out of them. So I went to the thrift store and I found, I found this candle tray. It's got some stars on it. It's kind of cool, rusty looking. I'm gonna end up painting it anyway. And I think that's going to go on this one to hold a pillar candle. What I do is just screw these down to the top to give it a nice candle base. This is clearly a smaller one or a smaller pillar than this one. And then spray paint them. I think I'm just spray paint them all white. I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with some interesting. I've got a whole host of spray paint back here. See this shelf right here? That's all spray paint, it's all mine. Plus I have a bunch more down in the basement. So I've got more than plenty of colors to choose from. I don't know why I have an addiction to spray paint. Um, yeah, so I'll come up with a color. Maybe I'll, put a, maybe I'll put a color on them. Probably not though. Everybody really likes the white pillar, white pillars. It's a thing. Maybe maybe some duck egg. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But let's get started. So I'm going to need screws. That's a good one. So what I'm going to do here is just make sure that's kind of centered, centered on the little pillar. And I'm going to take a screw, and this is a self-tapping screw. Drill that, I'm gonna drill that sucker right down in there. So there you are. That's as complicated as it gets right so there. So that's how I'm gonna do the rest of these. I'm gonna do the same thing. I don't know, I this one I might just leave. I think this is wide enough for pillars, this one too. And I think it's kinda got enough visual interest there that it doesn't need anything on the top. So these might just get painted white or I may drill out for a taper candle. What do you think? Paper candle. Might just paint white. I don't think I'm gonna put anything on the top of those. I think a pillar will sit just fine on it. So these I might just leave like they are. But anywho, let's get the rest of these painted up and see how they turn. Okay, so I decided to paint a couple of them in gold when I started going through my colors, and it's because you know I still got to get a bunch of stuff ready for the holidays. And I think gold going into fall and Christmas is good for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. So I'm going to do at least two of them here gold and see how I like it. So I'm going to put you a safe distance away where you can watch without getting paint. I love the gold. It's turned out really pretty. 
I was spraying it a little close because this was soaking into the raw wood so fast. But if you take a peek at how shiny and pretty it is, I think that was a good choice. Um, I think I'm gonna do a couple. I'm gonna at least do one more tall one in the gold. Let's go get a tall one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this one with the stars on it. it. Looks really country right now, but I think if I get it gold, it will uh, look a little Christmassy. So it's definitely a lot less country now that it's sparkly and gold. Um, as I'm spraying it, I'm thinking about staging it and how it's going to look because it looks kind of random right now to have these three pieces just sitting out here. But I think um, once I get some greenery around it and some pillar candles in there, it'll look super cute for uh, the Christmas season. So I think I'm going to have to do a little mock staging and show you guys after it's dry what it will look like. Family freaked out a little bit seeing me style Christmas in August. So it's not the best I've ever created, but when I had too many candles on, it was too candly. So I put this little guy on there and that candle plate was screaming for a cloche. So I did a quick little style. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.